Yo, shout out to the jumpers, much love to the jumpers. This video is taking a look at sideways jump style, looking at professional form, looking at easy exercise you can do to learn the approach form, and then looking at how that may translate to games. So first of all, what's the potential advantages of sideways style? Um, there's three main ones that I can think of, but there's probably more to it than this. The first thing is rotational velocity. So on your last step, if your shoulder and jumping hip are rotating, um, covering a greater distance in the same amount of time, they are moving faster, just a physical definition of speed equals distance over time. And we can convert that greater speed upwards through arm swing. So there may be potential to jump higher from a sideways style where you rotate coming into the last step. Um, as we see with Lionel Marshall, 50 inch volleyball jumper, T-Dub and Russell Westbrook. Um, second potential advantage is you get a whole foot strike. Um, you're not jumping with the front foot, you're not jump jumping with the heel. So uh, it limits the knee drive, it limits the heel strike, it limits the Achilles usage. So a sideways jump is really not calf or quad dominant, it's really core and glute dominant. So it's a way to take advantage of the biggest muscles of the body to jump higher um, limit to stretch, so it's maybe a more sustainable style, potentially. Third advantage of sideways style is if you're rotating into your jump, you can pretty easily rotate in the air for a backwards landing. Uh, advantages of backwards landing have been covered in length on this channel, and this video is not about that. So first of all, let's talk about the style. This is the approach form that I use. It's a five-step approach, um, using a left foot cut to move to the right, finishing with the left-right step on the right side of the basket, right foot cut to move to the left, finishing with the right-left right step on the left side of the basket, which is what I prefer. Um, uh, we've talked about how to use cuts in such a way that are safer on the Achilles, um, so if you're interested on that, you can check it out. But if you look at my jumps on the last one, uh, there's some amount of Achilles pressure, but the one before that, there's a sideways cut, which you can see. And that's pretty much it. This is the, that's what it looks like the pro's doing. This is a way to learn the form. Um, five step approach, count it out, or five and a half. You can take one to two dribbles. Advantage of one dribble is it's easier, but it's more telegraphed. Advantage, and it could be called a travel. Advantage of two is it's more surprising. Okay, here's a sideways cut. So you can see that's easy on the Achilles. And then here's the forward cut, which is tough on the Achilles. So that's totally preference and depends on your body type as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you have any specific questions, holler in the comment and we will answer. Um, just pr try practicing the form without jumping to get it down and then take that approach out to the three-point line, take one to two dribbles and dunk it or lay it up. So should translate decently to games. Again, right foot cut to move to the left finishing with right left step on the left side of the basket, left foot cut to move to the right, finishing on left right step on the right step of the basket. Um, this isn't the only way to do it. You can jump forward, you can jump without rotation, um, but this is a, a style that's popular with the pros and it's a style that I've found fairly easy to learn and um, hopefully you can learn from this as well. So much love, happy jumping and landing and see you all in the comments. And if you haven't checked it out already, check out our sustainable dunk training program, free link on this channel. And yeah, it's just totally free and it's all about how to land and decelerate and not get injured jumping. So that should help as well. Peace.